What's up YouTube, Anthony coming in with another video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my videos. So almost a year ago, I put out a video on how to build a ClickFunnel website in roughly 20 minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a funnel in 15 minutes. This is going to be an updated version going over ClickFunnels. So if you have never built a funnel from scratch, you're gonna learn exactly how to build a funnel from scratch. If you don't know what a funnel is, a funnel is another name for a website. And I actually use ClickFunnels and what it is, it's just a drag and drop website builder. So this is gonna be a updated version for 2019. And now keep in mind, these same tactics will work in 2018, 2019. This video is gonna work in 2020. So I'm probably gonna come back in a few years of this video and look and think, man, a lot of these methods actually still work. But anyways, Let's actually dive into my computer. Let's build a funnel from scratch. Now, there's a couple questions I want you to ask yourself right now. What do I want my customer to expect and what type of lead magnet am I gonna create? If you don't know what that is, you're gonna learn exactly that in this video. So let's actually dive into my computer right now. Welcome everybody. So now it's time to build a funnel in less than 15 minutes. So before we get started, I want you to ask yourself a couple questions. Three questions. Number one, have you done research in your niche? So with the funnels, you can build it for any type of business model. It can be for your own online store. It can be for your consulting, your coaching, your own training course. It can be for anything. Me, I prefer to use it for actually affiliate offers that I like to promote. Now, once you decide on that question, I want you to start researching. Start seeing what competitors are doing for their funnels so you can actually get some good ideas. Next, you need to decide on what type of funnel you want to create. Do you want to collect emails or do you want to use a just a pre-sale landing page just to warm up the audience to what the offer is that you're actually promoting? So ask yourself that. What type of funnel do you want to design? Do you want to create a squeeze page and collect emails or just a pre-sale page to warm someone up? So now you've done your research, you decided what type of landing page you want to build. Now there's one more question you need to ask yourself. The last question you need to ask yourself is what is my end result with this funnel? So depending on what type of business that you're in, you're going to want to be setting up remarketing campaigns. So for a remarketing campaign, you're going to want to have pixels installed. So if you're using Google AdWords, for example, you want to have a Google pixel on your landing page. If you're using Facebook ads, put a Facebook pixel. So think about your retargeting because a lot of the times you're going to get customers to come to your landing page and they're going to go through your entire funnel. Some may buy, some may not. How can you retarget people who don't buy or don't leave your landing page? So think about those three aspects of this. So for this video, we're going to just be building a quick funnel for affiliate marketing. So I'll just put a AFF right here. Let's just keep it simple. So for this affiliate marketing funnel, I'm going to actually just pre-sell them. I'm not going to be collecting emails, although you can collect emails. Next week, I'll be diving into email marketing and how you guys can grow your list and make money with emails. But anyway, so this is just going to be that. Now next, if you don't know what landing pages that actually use, a couple recommendations. ClickFunnels is what we'll be using for our landing page builder, but you can head over here to ClickBank, choose your niche, and see what type of landing pages are actually on here. See what type of landing pages are actually on ClickBank so you can actually get some examples of what to actually move forward with your offer. And you know, don't overcomplicate your funnel building. Just keep it simple and build a couple. You know, some of them are gonna be terrible and some of them are gonna be amazing. So the only way to truly test it is to run traffic and test it. So all you want to do is come right here and just click on add new. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on create new funnel, but this option here, you will most likely not be using. So let's just choose uh, emails and let's just name this one um, 15. Let's just name it 15 minute funnel for now. So create your tag. Mine's YouTube. Click build funnel. Now keep in mind, if you've never built a funnel before, make sure to look through these templates because if you haven't built one, these are actually really good templates that you can actually use. So for example, you could use this template here, and just swap out the photo and make the text line up with the offer that you're actually promoting. Let's actually look through a couple of these. Uh, this one looks really nice. Let's actually click preview. Very basic funnel. Yes, I want access now. 
Uh, if I was using something like this, what I would actually do is probably put a gaming offer here. So let's just say I go to ClickBank right now. I'm actually in the gaming niche. I'm looking at all these gaming offers. I could actually have a phone with actually a gamer aspect to it. So let's just use this for now. Uh, this funnel actually looks really nice, very basic. Now keep in mind when you build funnels, ask yourself what niche you're in. Some niches require disclaimers. So if you're in make money online, you want to have disclaimers. If you're in weight loss, you're going to want to have disclaimers. So different niches, you're going to have disclaimers to fit that niche. So keep that in mind, just a you know quick tip for everybody. So I really like this one. So let's just choose this one, select template. We'll just go with it, it looks very nice. Let's just click edit page. Mother secret funnels, we'll just delete this out. Now with click funnels, everything's drag and drop. So all you have to do is come to here. If you wanna put a headline, we can put in 10X your Instagram with this one software boom so that looks really good now one thing you want to do is you always want to hit this mobile icon a lot of people who are coming from Facebook from YouTube from your traffic source they're gonna be on their cell phones they're gonna be on an iPhone just like this coming to look at what you have to offer so actually you can click right here and click settings click right here on mobile size so what you want to do is actually adjust that. So let's just make this, you know, 20, too small we see. Let's just go with, you know, 27. Uh, it's a little bit spaced out, but it's fine. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. Now what we can do is we can drag this up a little bit, make it a little bit more consistent, and then let's go back to the desktop. So if anyone comes on mobile, this will actually look perfect now. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is your color scheme of your landing page. Now, this is very consistent, this blue background. Uh, I like the blue call to action, uh, the blue here. So it's very plain. It's very simple to go. Now, also, if you want to add in your own images, all you have to do is just click on Add Element. You can add in a photo here. You can add in a photo here. So let's just actually go to ClickBank. And let's just go to the search bar right here. And let's just go Instagram. Here we go. So Instagram for champions, Instagram on fire. Let's check this out. So Instagram on fire. If I was promoting this, I would save this. So once you save the image, just click on this box here and then click right here and upload your image. So as you see, this logo actually looks really good for the Instagram. I didn't think it was gonna look that good. Uh, let's see how it looks on mobile. So it actually fits perfect for mobile. So what I'm actually going to do with this, because it actually looks pretty big here in terms of this. So I'll just click on this. I'm going to actually clone this. And I'm going to make this one right here for... I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to make this one for mobile only. And then this one right here is actually going to be for desktop only. Whoops. Let's put that for desktop only. And then what we can do is make this a little bit smaller. So let's just go, let's see how 300 looks too small. Uh, let's go 600. That looks good. So so as you just seen, I made it a little bit smaller. So uh, this is very consistent with what the affiliate offer is. And now let's think about copy. So what you can do is get inspiration from the offer that you're actually promoting. So keep in mind, every niche is different. So this would be, for example, just promoting a Instagram offer. So let's actually look over here, IG strategy, uh, Instagram for champions. Let's see this. Uh, I really like that they have this book. Now keep in mind, this book could actually go on your landing page. So all you would have to do is just save this right here. So all we have to do is just click right here, add an element. And let's just put this image right here. So as you can see, this actually looks pretty interesting. Now I know these two logos are different. These two businesses are different. But keep in mind what we can do here is we can actually take this book and drag it right here. And then what we can do is we can actually delete this right here. Now every time you hover over something, there's a settings. You can actually clone it and make two or you can actually delete it. So I'll just delete that. Now also, one side note, if there's a logo that you want to create, head over to Canva. Canva is a free tool where you can actually put together photos and make your own design. Now if you're struggling with the design, and let's just say you like Instagram for champions and you like this fire type logo, just head over to Canva and you can actually just type uh, Instagram for champions and add a fire logo and then put it here on your funnel. 
So now right here, let's just say, let's just exit this out now. We don't need that if we're not collecting emails. And then where are your followers going? Let's get some inspiration from here. Becoming an Instagram influencer has never been easier than today. So I actually like this right here. Influencers can easily achieve six-figure income spending the same amount of time the average user uses to browse photos. So now I can actually just use this on my landing page. Let's go back over. So let's actually do that right here. Let's add, in, add that in. Font's a little bit too big. So what we can do is make this font size a little bit smaller. Now keep in mind, I like to keep everything aligned. So this is over to the left. Perfect. And now what we can do is add in a call to action right here. So let's get a little bit more content from the actual offer. Uh, let's see. Learn strategies and tools and techniques. Let's just do this right here. Let's go right back. Let's add this in. And then let's put, uh, yes, I want access now. So one thing you want to test on your funnel is your call to action. Yes, I want access now is a call to action. Yes, give me access, learn more. These are different call to actions that you can test with your actual audience. So that's something you're going to want to do. If you want to change the button, you can just click on the button and click the button color and then make it uh, brighter, darker. Okay, that looks fine. So now what we can do with this is we can also change the color of this too if you want to. Now, a couple quick tips at what you can be doing. Now, earlier I said use disclaimers. So right here, you can actually put your disclaimers here, your Facebook disclaimer, your Google disclaimer, whatever traffic sources you're using. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is you want to click on settings and you want to click on background if you want to change the background. But more importantly is your tracking code. So earlier I said Facebook or Google. So make sure you put your Facebook pixel right here. Quick tip for everybody. And the last thing you're going to want to make sure to check is your SEO metadata. This is often overlooked. So if you're promoting Instagram on fire, you'd want to just put, you know, Instagram on fire. And then we could put uh, how to build a six figure income from Instagram. Then what we can also do is put in our image right here. Now to me, this looks a lot more professional on what you can do in terms of your offer. Now keep in mind, if you send this link to people, people are actually going to see this preview right there. So keep that in mind. And one last thing that you need to do with all of your funnels is remove the ClickFunnels code right here. ClickFunnels has a button right there that says this is made with ClickFunnels. Now the issue with that is it looks very unprofessional. If someone comes on their cell phone, that button is going to be huge right there. Now, one thing you need to do is when you're all done with your landing page, put it in mobile and double check it. So as you can see right here, uh, this color, the color schemes aren't really matching up for me. So you want to adjust the col this color here. Now, next is this button. Yes, I want access now. To me, this looks unprofessional because yes, I want access and now we're on two different lines. So, so what you can do is make the font size smaller. So right here, click on mobile and let's actually make this, let's try 20. That actually looks pretty decent right there. So we'll keep it there. And then when we change over to desktop, everything looks good. And then all you want to do is click save. Now I've had it happen sometimes where I build a crazy funnel and you know, I get so into it. I'm working on it for 20 minutes and I don't click save and then I end up having issues. So make sure you're saving, you know, every 10 minutes or, you know, every five minutes or after you do a bunch of work on your funnel, save it. Now, one last thing that you have to do. So right now, this button is on submit page. That means if I collect emails, you have to have submit page to go to your general to where you have your link right here. So that means you collect an email and then it submits to the next step. But in the beginning, I said this is for an affiliate offer. So all you want to do is click right here on submit the page, set action, and you want to do go to website URL. So for example, this is a ClickBank affiliate offer we've been talking about. So right here, I just click on promote, I get my affiliate link, and then all I have to do is paste my affiliate link in. So let's just say my affiliate link is www.anthony.com. I would copy my affiliate link. Let's copy that. Now, note, you have to do this. Click CTRV and paste it in. And then just click out and click save. 
Now, what the issue is, some people will come here and they'll right click and they'll paste it in. If you do this, you will run into issues. So make sure you do exactly what I said. You CTRV on your keyboard and paste it in. Then all you have to do is click on save. Now, every time someone comes here, they will be able to go to the next step. Now, this is exactly how you build a funnel in under 15 minutes. Don't overcomplicate it. Make sure, like I said in the beginning, do your research on other people in your niche. Like if someone's doing Instagram, go check out other people on YouTube who promote Instagram. Take a look at their funnels, get ideas from them. Now, as you know, funnels can get a lot more complex. You can add in videos. You can just click here, add in videos. You can add in bullet points, but I won't be dragging on this video forever. So if you guys have any questions, just drop a comment below this video and let me know what you guys are struggling with with maybe building funnels. So I hope this helps some people who are, you know, just learning about click funnels and, you know, there's so many different ways you can go, but just keep it simple, you know, build one funnel at a time. You know, when I first started building funnels, I was terrible at building funnels, but you know, over time I've gotten better. So I hope you guys got a ton of value. And as always, come check out my private Facebook group, Entrepreneur Affiliates, where I post private information. But anyways, thank you for watching. Never had you seen in your lifetime A more divine southern rapper would